Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about the newly added co-main event. Bilal Muhammad versus Gilbert Burns. Bilal Muhammad, 22 wins, 3 losses. He's 4-0-1 in his last 5 fights. Is 34 years old, 5-11 with a 72-inch reach. Fighting Gilbert Burns, who's 22 wins, 5 losses. 36 years old, 5-10 with a 71-inch reach. One inch in height for Bilal Muhammad and also one inch in reach for Bilal Muhammad. The biggest thing for me in this one is the crazy output, the crazy pace, the crazy pressure that Bilal Muhammad can do. There's always there's one thing we can guarantee in this fight is Muhammad will not get tired. And I think that is going to absolutely benefit him in a five-round co-main event, newly added co-main event. Now, Gilbert Burns does things very well he's constantly countering out of failed takedown positions he's constantly countering out of failed opportunities on his side the issue is is i think with fighting a guy like blah muhammad who is going to consistently chain wrestle and get him to the cage because he's been susceptible to being stuck on the cage before blah muhammad i believe is going to chain him Chain them, chain them, chain them, chain them, and keep on chain them, training them, chaining them, um, his uh, wrestling altogether. He's, I don't think he's ever going to stop. He's going to make Burns work, and I really like Bilal Muhammad in this one. It'd be cool to see Burns win just because I think him against uh, Leon Edwards would be really, really fun, but I want to see the rematch against Bilal Muhammad versus Leon Edwards. This, I think, is a fight where... First two rounds could be very, very competitive, very hard. Both guys really working, and then Bilal slowly starts to take over. I'm not for sure there's going to be a finish, but I like Bilal either way. Let me know what you guys think down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and as always, peace.